Prehistoric life is intricately woven with the stories of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, both uniquely adapted to their environments long before their destinies intertwined. Neanderthals, emerging around 400,000 years ago, were not the brutish, simple creatures of popular myth, but rather skilled survivors of Ice Age Europe. Their physical robustness, with strong, stocky frames and an adaptation to cold climates, was matched by a sophisticated culture. Sites like the Shanidar Cave in Iraq and the Neanderthal Cave in Germany provide poignant insights into their lives, revealing burial practices that suggest a belief in an afterlife or at least a deep respect for the deceased. Neanderthals crafted diverse tools from stone, bone, and wood, including the Mausterian toolset, which was characterized by precision and variety, indicating a nuanced understanding of toolmaking that catered to different tasks, from hunting to hide processing. In parallel, Homo sapiens evolved in Africa with a physiology finely tuned for endurance running and long-distance travel, traits that facilitated their spread across continents. Their toolkits, which include the Atterian and later Stone Age tools, show evidence of rapid innovation and flexibility in adapting to diverse environments. The Blombos Cave in South Africa and the Omo Kibish site in Ethiopia are among the key archaeological sites that illuminate the creative and symbolic thinking of early Homo sapiens. These sites have yielded not just tools, but also the earliest known examples of art, such as engraved ochre and beadwork, suggesting a complex social structure and communication through symbolic representation. The geographical distribution of both species before their encounter tells a story of successful adaptation to a wide range of environments. Neanderthals dominated the cold, harsh landscapes of Europe and parts of Asia, developing hunting strategies and social networks that allowed them to thrive. Meanwhile, Homo sapiens' migration out of Africa, evidenced by sites such as Jebel Irhoud in Morocco and School Cave in Israel, showcases their ability to spread across the globe, adapting to new challenges and environments through innovation and social cohesion. The cognitive abilities of both species were advanced, with Neanderthals demonstrating skills in hunting, the use of fire for cooking and warmth, and possibly language capabilities. Homo sapiens exhibited remarkable creativity and adaptability, developing complex languages, art, and culture that enabled them to form large social networks and outcompete other species. As we delve deeper into the lives of these ancient ancestors, we uncover a world where survival depended on physical adaptation, social cooperation, and the ability to innovate. The journey of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, marked by resilience and ingenuity, sets the stage for their eventual meeting, a pivotal moment that would shape the course of human history. As the last Ice Age tightened its grip on the planet, the landscapes inhabited by Neanderthals and the emerging Homo sapiens underwent dramatic transformations. The cold glacial periods were punctuated by brief warmer interglacials, creating a dynamic environment that both species had to navigate. In Europe, where Neanderthals had established their dominance, the Ice Age landscape was a mix of tundra and coniferous forests, supporting a range of large mammals such as woolly mammoths, rhinoceroses, and reindeer. These conditions required Neanderthals to develop specialized hunting strategies and tools, as evidenced by sites like Le Flageolet and La Quina in France, where remains and artifacts illustrate their adaptation to hunting large, cold-adapted prey. Meanwhile, Homo sapiens faced a different set of challenges as they migrated out of Africa. The African climate, oscillating between wet and dry periods, fostered a diverse set of ecosystems from savannas to forests, which supported a wide variety of game and plant resources. This diversity encouraged versatility in Homo sapiens' subsistence strategies, as seen in the Middle Stone Age sites like Pinnacle Point and Clazies River in South Africa, where evidence of marine resource utilization alongside terrestrial hunting points to a broad dietary base and innovative survival strategies. As Homo sapiens moved into Eurasia, they encountered the cold, harsh environments already inhabited by Neanderthals. This period of climatic instability, marked by the Heinrich events, massive discharges of icebergs into the North Atlantic, leading to sudden cold spells, would have pressured both to adapt or perish. 
Archaeological evidence from sites such as the Denisova Cave in Siberia not only highlights the presence of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, but also indicates a sharing of technology and possibly knowledge, as both groups sought to navigate the challenges posed by their rapidly changing world. Resource distribution played a critical role in shaping interactions between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. The fluctuating climates affected the availability of food and other resources, leading to competition and, at times, cooperation between the two. The technological innovations, such as the development of more efficient hunting weapons and clothing, were crucial for survival in the increasingly inhospitable climates of Europe and Asia. The environmental and climatic conditions of the time set the stage for a complex web of interactions between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. The struggle for survival in a changing world drove both to innovate and adapt, but it also laid the groundwork for the eventual spread of Homo sapiens into Neanderthal territories. The archaeological record, rich with tools, artifacts and environmental data, offers a window into these ancient strategies for coping with climate change and resource scarcity, shedding light on the resilience and ingenuity of our ancestors. The initial encounters between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens are a subject of intense study and speculation, with archaeological sites across Europe and Asia providing crucial evidence of these interactions. One of the key sites that offer insight into the coexistence and potential competition between the two is the Vindja Cave in Croatia. Here, Neanderthal and modern human genetic material overlaps in time, suggesting a period of coexistence. The tools and remains found at the site indicate a complex scenario where both groups might have shared the landscape, potentially leading to exchanges of knowledge or competition for resources. Another significant site is the Abrigo do Lagarvelo in Portugal, where the discovery of a child's remains with mixed Neanderthal and Homo sapiens features suggests interbreeding. This finding implies not just conflict and competition, but also a degree of integration and cooperation between the two challenging the notion of a simple replacement scenario. In Italy, the Grotta dei Fanciulli, Grimaldi Caves, has yielded tools attributed to both Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans, along with symbolic artifacts such as ornaments which speak to the cultural complexity and possible interactions between the groups. The presence of mixed tool technologies suggests that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals might have adopted each other's innovations, indicating a level of coexistence and possibly even collaboration in certain aspects. The site of Denisova Cave in Siberia is yet another pivotal location, known for its occupation by both Neanderthals and Denisovans, a group closely related to Neanderthals. Evidence of Homo sapiens' presence there as well adds to the narrative of a shared landscape where these different human groups might have interacted. The discovery of a bone fragment belonging to a Denisovan-Neanderthal hybrid, Denny, further underscores the complexity of these interactions, suggesting that they were not solely competitive, but also included interbreeding. Moreover, the Chatel Peronian culture, identified in several sites across France and northern Spain, such as the Grotte du Rennes, is characterized by advanced tool technology and ornaments that some researchers attribute to Neanderthals under the influence of or in competition with incoming Homo sapiens. This culture represents a significant period where the technological and possibly cultural exchanges between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens can be observed. The demographic advantage of Homo sapiens over Neanderthals is a pivotal factor in understanding their eventual dominance. Genetic studies and demographic models have provided insights into the population's sizes and growth rates of both, indicating significant differences that would have had profound implications for their survival and competition. Research into ancient DNA, particularly studies focused on the Neanderthal genome, has shed light on the genetic diversity within Neanderthal populations. Findings suggest that Neanderthals lived in relatively small and isolated groups which would have limited their genetic diversity and reduced their ability to adapt to environmental changes and diseases. This genetic bottleneck could have made Neanderthals more vulnerable compared to the more numerous and genetically diverse Homo sapiens populations. 
Demographic models such as those developed from studying archaeological sites like the El Cidron Cave in Spain for Neanderthals and the Oase Cave in Romania for Homo sapiens support the notion of a significant disparity in population sizes. These models suggest that Homo sapiens' populations grew at a faster rate and spread more widely than Neanderthals, partly due to their broader dietary strategies and social structures that supported larger, more interconnected groups. The reproductive rates and social structures of Homo sapiens also contributed to their demographic advantage. The wider social networks of Homo sapiens, as evidenced by the distribution of similar tool types and symbolic artifacts across vast distances, indicate a level of social cohesion and information exchange that could support larger populations. In contrast, the more localized and smaller social groups of Neanderthals, as inferred from site-specific tool assemblages and limited distribution of cultural artifacts, would have hindered their population growth and resilience. Furthermore, the overlap in habitats and resources likely led to direct competition between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, with the larger populations of Homo sapiens gradually outcompeting Neanderthals for resources. This competition, combined with the demographic factors mentioned, would have increasingly marginalized Neanderthal populations, limiting their access to essential resources and territories. The extinction of Neanderthals around 40,000 years ago cannot be attributed to a single cause, but rather to a constellation of interrelated factors that collectively undermine their ability to survive in an ever-changing world. One of the critical elements in this complex scenario was the intense competition for resources. As Homo sapiens spread into Neanderthal territories, the two found themselves competing for the same food sources and living spaces. This competition was exacerbated by the last glacial maximum, a period of severe climate cooling that put additional pressure on the already scarce resources. Archaeological sites such as the Gorham's Cave in Gibraltar, one of the last known habitations of Neanderthals, provide evidence of this struggle, showcasing both Neanderthal and early modern human artifacts within a context of climatic stress. The impact of diseases brought by Homo sapiens into Europe might have also contributed to the Neanderthals' decline. The introduction of new pathogens against which Neanderthals had no immunity could have led to devastating outbreaks that diminished their populations. While direct evidence for such disease transmission is challenging to find, genetic research indicates that there was indeed interbreeding between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, which could have facilitated the transfer of pathogens. Social advantages of Homo sapiens, such as more complex social structures and communication systems, further contributed to their success over Neanderthals. These social advancements enabled larger groups of Homo sapiens to maintain cohesion and share knowledge across vast networks, enhancing their ability to innovate and adapt. The Neanderthals, once considered a distant and unrelated branch of the human family tree, have left a legacy that is much more intimately connected to us than previously thought. Genetic research has revealed that between 1% and 4% of the DNA of people of non-African descent is Neanderthal in origin, a testament to the interbreeding that occurred between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. This genetic legacy has profound implications, influencing everything from our immune system to physical characteristics and even our susceptibility to certain diseases. Studies such as those analyzing the Neanderthal genome from specimens found in the Vindia cave in Croatia have illuminated these connections, highlighting the shared history and genetic heritage that bind us to Neanderthals. The story of Neanderthal extinction is a powerful narrative about human survival and adaptability. It underscores the importance of innovation, social cohesion, and the ability to respond to changing environments. The archaeological record enriched by sites like the Shanidar Cave in Iraq not only provides insight into the Neanderthals' way of life, but also serves as a mirror reflecting the challenges faced by human societies throughout history. The tools, art, and burial practices of Neanderthals speak to a complex culture capable of adaptation and innovation, qualities that are at the core of human survival. Reflecting on the Neanderthals' extinction, we are reminded of the fragility of existence and the relentless push of nature's forces.
Their story teaches us about the importance of diversity and adaptability, offering lessons that are increasingly relevant in today's world as we face global challenges such as resource depletion and biodiversity loss. Understanding the factors that led to the Neanderthal's decline can inform our approach to conservation, sustainability, and our interactions with the natural world. The legacy of Neanderthals also challenges us to reconsider our place in the natural world. It highlights the interconnectedness of human history and the environment, urging a deeper respect for the other species with whom we share the planet. As we look to the future, the story of the Neanderthals serves as a reminder of our responsibility to protect the diversity of life and to foster a world where adaptability and sustainability are at the forefront of our collective consciousness. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.